We've seen a ferocious appetite for content in the LLM world, AI world. And so can you talk a little bit about what you're seeing there in terms of people seeking data, you, you know, your customers ensuring that their data has proper privacy uh, requirements met, um, anything along those lines? Yeah, I'll, I'll answer your question a little bit differently. Sure. Right? Um, I think right now, particularly with generative AI and a lot of the corporate use cases, I think we're still in an era of, of real immaturity around really identifying uh, value-based use cases for it that are actually actionable in corporations. So taking a longer-term lens, right, where I think this is going is particularly for compliance and compliance operations, which is where I sit. When the technology gets worked out, when the business cases get worked out, I think what we're going to start to see is really an acceleration of the shift left movement. And what I mean by that is we've started to hear about embed cybersecurity and design, embed privacy by design, embed privacy engineering by design. Um, a lot of what I'm working on with clients, due to the complexity of some of the things that we've heard about, um, the amount of energy invested in the creation of these products, we are starting to see a replication of manufacturing quality control measurement, like measurable metrics, into knowledge-based work and an automation of that type of work. So I reflect that my business of legal and compliance is messy, it's time consuming, it's expensive, it's slow, there's not a velocity there, and the activities are not always correlated to risk, and then to expand that across all of the different operations associated with cleaning data sets, embedding data sets, creating products, there will be, and I'm starting to see, real interrogation around bringing these processes earlier on into the model and embedding them and having the products develop red flags and self-report to be able to do real-time compliance. And that's gonna be particularly important when we do start to have generative AI models that are really subject to drift and bias in a variety of real-time configurations. So I'm starting to see conversations in which people are starting to really operationalize compliance operations, and it's very welcome.